Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've started quilting this border here. And I've quilted actually all the way around the border. This is the last one that we need to do. So all that I'm going to do is take my clear blue tile and I'm going to line it up here. Now I'm probably gonna use a thinner design here instead of my six by 12. I'll use something a little bit smaller. Um, so I'm going to use a four by six and I'm just going to line it up next to the design that I already have right here that I've stitched out. And I actually did this on a few of the others as well, um, just so that it would all kind of line up and come together. So you can use different tiles to make it fit. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I'm just going to mark my quilt just like we did before. So you're just treating the borders the same way. And then I would write there. So I'm just going to write it here since I'm at a different angle. So that's a four by six. So now when I go to my machine, I know that I want to do a four by six here. Um, the only thing that I need to be really careful of when I'm quilting are these prairie points. These do sometimes get in the way, so I have to be really careful. I have to lift them up. Um, otherwise, they'll get caught in the machine and stitched down. So I did try taping them back, but that didn't work real good because of the way that I got them sewn down. So just have to be careful. So if you're working with the prairie points, you want to be careful too. All right, so now here I am. I'm ready to stitch. Um, I'm not ready to stitch. I'm ready to put my template here and I do want it to stitch just a little bit onto this pink border. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and mark right here. And we're just about done. Oh, I'm so excited that we're just about done. Okay, so just marking with my friction pin here. So this one is a six by 14. And then I'm just gonna keep lining it up just like we did before. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna finish marking the quilt. Then I'm gonna put it on the machine and I'm gonna quilt it. And I'm gonna use my, um, my camera system just like I showed you in the other tutorial, how to use a camera system if you have one. Now, if you don't have one, you will need to use your grid. I'll show you how to do that here in just a second. Here's how you would do it with your grid. You would take your grid and your hoop. You're gonna follow these lines that you've drawn onto your your um, your quilt. So you wanna make sure that your hoop is facing you for your arm so that you have that there. And then you're gonna place your hoop underneath. And make sure mine is straight. These are the lines that I'm referring to on your, your hooping here. And you're gonna take them and you're gonna take that grid. You're gonna line up on these lines here. And you wanna make sure that you're fairly straight. Now, it doesn't have to be an exact science, but you wanna be pretty close, so.
and that is how you would do this with a regular hoop. See, now it's now it's lining up right here. So what I would do then is I go to my machine with this. Now I'm gonna use my machine's technology to do this just because I have the camera system, but then you would move your needle to that center point and you would be good to go. So I'm gonna tighten my hoop with my screwdriver here. pretty awesome. It's that part. And this is the screwdriver that you use to tighten your needle bar and all that, but then it turns into another screwdriver and allows you to tighten your hoops. All right, so now we are ready to stitch out the next part of our design. All right, we're going to square up the baby blanket now. And um, I'm so glad that this is done. Oh my gosh. Okay. It turned out so cute, you guys. I'm just, I'm really, really pleased with how it turned out. Now, when I square up my squares, I'm gonna use my seam here to line up. I have another video on how to do this as well, but um, because the shower is today, I need to get going. So I'm going to cut four and a half and a half here. And I'm just lining up on my seam, like I said. Right here, I'm using my ruler to line up on that line. And then I'm going to just cut. So I'm just preparing the binding now and I am sewing my seams diagonal. So I'm gonna put this flat side right here is facing up and I'm gonna take my other piece that's right here and I'm gonna put that right sides facing down and they are going to look like this. So you should have one that is straight and then you should have one that's going the opposite direction. So one horizontal, one vertical. And you're just gonna line them up like that. And then you're gonna sew a diagonal stitch right there. So you'll have your piece like this laying flat. You'll take it. Your other piece, you're gonna lay this one vertically right sides facing each other and then you will sew diagonally this way. Now you can pin it or you can mark it. Okay now we're going to start making the binding. Um, so now I'm going to trim off the triangles that we just created when we sewed our seams like that. And I'm gonna just leave about a quarter inch there. And when I open it up, that's what I have. Okay, so.
Okay. Have my raw edge of my binding to my raw edge of my quilt. I'm using my quarter inch foot and I am just going to start sewing. I'm leaving about a two inch tail without stitching down on that first. Um, that so that when we come back to this and we end, we'll be able to clip our our binding here and join it together easily. Okay, we're stitching it down. I'm using a zigzag stitch to hold this down. Okay, the quilt is finally finished and you can see I have the binding on there. Quilted it all over, super cute. I'll show you here. This is what it looks like on the back. Isn't that cute? Now I couldn't quilt right there where you're seeing this blank space. This is where all the pinwheels are. So, um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. Isn't that adorable? So cute. And that's the batting, or the, I'm sorry, the uh, binding that I went with. And then I just used a zigzag stitch to attach that. And you can see how that turned out on the back side. It looks really nice. So yeah, and that's it.